Good morning, friends, and welcome to the tea. Today, we are having our tea outside on the porch. It's a beautiful, beautiful day, and my hair is looking amazing today. I don't know what's the deal, but I, I just going to run with it. It's, it, I think it's probably just like the wind blowing it, but we're going to, we're going to say, yeah. That's all we're going to say. Um, so yeah, we're outside. It's a beautiful day. And today I'm drinking English breakfast tea, but I have a caveat. It's a different English breakfast tea. I just opened it and it was so cool, fun to open, like let alone drink because so this tea was a gift from a student of mine named Noah. Noah, if you're watching this, you're awesome and I love you. And first of all, the container is just beautiful. It's like old school wooden containers. Um, it's from a company called the Metropolitan Tea Company and their slogan is good tea tastes better, which is true so I mean hello it's like it's just duh so this tea was really fun to open because it has little stickers on either side and you have to like break the seal Ugh, like a crazy karate superstar which I am and then um, it comes off and it's got these little like little rivet openings see and you gotta like stick it back in there when you close it which is pretty cool and so this is an English breakfast tea and on the illustration which I will hold up you see this cute little family enjoying a tea together so I am enjoying a tea by myself, <laughs> but that's okay because I still feel great about it. So I am steeping that now. It's almost ready. And I like that even the tea bag label itself says, I'm going to spill tea on my keyboard, watch this happen, but um, it even says good tea tastes better. And I mean, that's just so simple and yet so true. Um, and so thank you, Noah, for this tea tasting experience. Um, Noah was in my class last year, and my favorite thing about Noah, there's so many things, but well, two favorite things. One is that he is as obsessed as I am with The Office, which is why he's probably not watching this episode of The Tea right now. He's probably watching Dwight Schrute, you know, getting everyone out of the building because of a fire drill or something. So I respect that choice, Noah. Respect. Um, the other awesome thing about Noah is that last year when he was in my language arts class, every Wednesday or every every day three, whatever it was, every 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 certain day of the cycle was a debate day, and we would debate a current issue using our vocabulary words for the week. And Noah would get so excited about debate day, and I got so excited because Noah was so excited, and I just appreciate him very much. So let's give this tea a taste, and then I'll share my positivity for today. It's a simple but joyful one. So let's let's give this a go here. Oh, I should drink it this way so you can see that my mug says peace. Peace be with you and also with you. Okay, here we go. Hmm. As I expected, practically perfect in every way. Um, Mary Poppins would appreciate this tea and so do I. It is, it's, you know, your pretty typical English breakfast, but you can tell that it's made with care and I don't know if it's made with care. I think it is, but I feel like you can tell there's, I don't even know how to describe this. It's kind of like, I think it's similar to drinking wine. Like you just drink it and you know, like, oh, that's good quality. Something about like the smoothness or the way you, you, it goes down your gullet. I, I don't know, but it's good. It's good. I like it. I'm going to drink it while I eat my oatmeal that I made this morning with raisins and pecans and toasted coconut. Booyah. Um, it's a good day to be alive. So today, as I mentioned, it's gorgeous. So positivity one is that Beautiful days are just something to be thankful for, especially in this time of pandemic. I keep thinking about if we had been quarantined in the middle of February, or, well, actually, it kind of was the middle of February. Let's say we were quarantined in the middle of November. We had to go through all those dark, cold winter months. Man, seasonal affective disorder would be hitting us hard. But the way it is now, it's sunny and beautiful many days of this quarantine. And I'm just so thankful for that, that we have sunshine, even if we can't be out in it together. At least we can be out and just see the beauty of it. Um, my sister-in-law even bought a bird watching book because you just, I'm just, we're just noticing things that we wouldn't otherwise take the time to stop and notice. So she, she's been noticing the birds and all the different sounds they make and the things they do, and that's so cool. So I've been noticing all the beautiful flowers, but even more. Okay, so here's my real positivity for today. So the last couple of days, I've been noticing my grass has been getting a little out of hand, and I used to own a lawnmower, but then I proceeded to break it by mowing it over top of some kind of metal gasket thing in my yard, which is not a good idea. Don't do that. Um, so I, at that point, this was a couple years ago, I decided that I needed to hire a professional to mow my lawn. It's a pretty small lawn. I figured, you know, it wouldn't be such a big job. So I had a student, a former student, who um, has started his own lawn mowing company and has become 
wildly successful in doing this. And it's like a side gig in the other, in the other part of his life, he's a firefighter and he's going to school at a technical high school. So he's kind of a superstar kid. And if I had not been a teacher at Collingswood middle school, I would never have met this kid. I don't think. And so he now is my, um, my weekly lawn mowing service. He's awesome. He sometimes brings his mom and she helps with the edging. They're super nice. They have a super snazzy truck that says Wally's lawn service and they're wonderful and very budget friendly. And I just am so thankful for them. And I just was thinking about how cool it is that my students are growing up and learning trades, learning things that they're passionate about, that they're good at, um, and that I'm going to capitalize on your skills by asking you to do things for me. So, um, I am, you know, thankful for that gift that my students are so uniquely talented in so many cool ways and that not only I benefit, but many others benefit from your unique skills and abilities. So I'm thankful that my lawn is now pristinely and precisely mowed to, um, to its green, lovely state. And um, I'm just thankful for students and for the unique talents and special awesomenesses. Awesomenesses, is that a word? Wow, English teacher. Um, been a while obviously and special awesomeness awesomeness that you bring to the world thank you for the gift of you thanks for watching the tea have a great day and i hope that your day is um as beautiful as this one wherever you are and that you're not sitting in the middle of antarctica but if you are thanks for tuning in all right i'll talk to you all soon bye